Gallup it's Leslie. I am going live because I'm on a different computer than usual and I can't figure out how to record a video and upload it. So here we go. If you are going with me, I probably won't see it. Um, oh, look, people, see comments, people jumping on. Listen, I just want to share a brief story that was both humbling and humorous, and it's about how God used the most ordinary things to underscore the lessons that he teaches us in his word in scripture. So I have, you can't see it, but I have a welt, a rather painful welt on my thumb because yesterday we had a whole bunch of rain here in North Texas and whenever it rains, um, inevitably, all of God's creation wants to come indoors. <laughs> and so I don't generally have any problems with bugs in the house. I keep a meticulously clean kitchen for that reason. Everything is in Tupperware because I don't want any critters in the house. But I had put the cat food down yesterday, and they had finished their meal, and I left the bowls on the floor for about half an hour, and lo and behold, I turned and looked, and they were full, full of ants. And these were not those little bitty nuisancey sugar ants that you see, you know, that show up in the springtime on your countertops. These were big old ants, like quarter inch ants, and I'm like, where did these guys come from, and how do I get rid of them? So, of course, I scoop up the bowls and I start to clean everything up and wash everything. And one of the ants bit me and he took a chunk out of me. It was not a fire ant. I've dealt with those. Fortunately, they don't generally come inside. But this ant bit me and I felt the sting. And I was like, oh, son of a mother. So not a big deal. Proceeded to uh, clean up the mess and put down some, you know, ant deterrent and things like that. But this morning, that little bitty bite was a bit of a welt. It's kind of like mosquito bite size and it stings a little bit and it itches a little bit and it's generally a nuisance. And I thought, this little ant, this teeny little ant is causing me so much grief. It's causing me so much grief. Well, I had done some research yesterday to figure out what kind of ants are these and how do I make sure they do not come back into my humble abode. And it turned out they are carpenter ants. And carpenter ants live in wood and particularly moist wood, but they live, they can live inside your walls and very often they'll come in through the baseboards. And so that got me thinking about the little pests that live in wood. Wood in the Bible represents our humanity. That is why Haman was hung on the gallows that he erected in the book of Esther. Um, Haman struggled with, uh, was overcome with pride and arrogance and so the gallows he erected, he erected out of pride and arrogance and a desire to have control and um, be in a position of great authority and leadership. And that was his humanity, the dark side of his humanity. And so he was hung on the gallows he erected. Jesus, of course, was hung on a wooden cross because he bore our sins and was the atoning sacrifice. And so, you know, from the gopher wood of the ark to the acacia wood of the Thorns, the crown of thorns, wood represents our humanity. And I thought, what is lurking inside of my humanity that can bite and cause great distress? And it's the little things, the little comments that we can make, the little hurtful jabs, the little playful asides, even the not so playful words of condemnation or accusation that we bite at each other with. And of course, right now, coming off of the election and in this political season, there's a lot of biting going on. And those words don't just happen in an instant, the same way that ant bite didn't just happen for one second and I felt it, it still lingers and it's turning into a welt and it's bothering me and it's distracting me. And so I think it's Ephesians 4.29 says, you know, let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only that which is helpful to build others up. So I just want to share with you this lesson from the carpenter ant, this lesson to be mindful of your humanity. You know, we are those who are in Christ. Uh, you've been bought with a price. You're, you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. You want to keep that temple clean, not just physically healthy, uh, not just your thoughts, but make sure no carpenter ants come to live in your heart. Be careful not to be biting with your tongue and leaving others with hurts and well <laughs> told my cat stay out pain that can linger i'm gonna put my readers on
so I can turn this live off. Oh, and God bless y'all.